Let us now use the model of the induction motor to do speed control uh, by uh, V by F method. So let me open the schematic. So I have made the schematic for simulation in NG spice. So it is like this. So this is the V by F control of the induction motor. So open loop V by F control and uh, uh, you could uh, extend it for closed loop control also later and I will show you how. Now here I have the model of the induction machine. So what is the model of the induction machine and how I have um, uh, placed this here? You can always go to the components dialog, go to this model and here you have the model of the induction machine coming in there. So that is how I have brought that in. It has the sub-circuit model, it is XIM, note the X is the first character and that is housed, placed in EDT01.sub. Let us just have a look at that, you see that there are three inputs, uh, VU, V, 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 Y, U, V, W, it could as well be A, B, C or R, Y, B, three phases and there is a torque input, load torque input, this represents the load torque that is felt by the induction machine on the shaft of the machine and there are some outputs, the three uh, phase currents U, V, W which are coming as uh, um, uh, which are um, uh, which are actually coming as outputs of uh, uh, voltage uh, zero voltage sensor being used to sense the currents and you are also getting here uh, the shaft speed as the output so this is the model of the induction machine and that if we go to the edt01 dot sub you will be able to see the model of the induction machine this is the uh, uh, model of the induction machine placed here. This is a sub circuit and it has IM. So NVU0, this is the uh, node voltage coming from the inverter. The inverter has three midpoints uh, the me, U midpoint, V midpoint, W midpoint. Then there is a torque input point, and these are output sensed outputs. The currents IU, IV and IW and the speed and I am passing some parameters of the motor which I already discussed uh, which we used in the octave simulation the same motor uh, parameters are passed here. Then in the sub circuit pole to neutral conversion I am using the B source go through this code very simple then three phase to two phase UVW to AB uh, is done by again another set of B sources, programmable B source, the state equations. These are the four state equations I am using ISA dot, ISB dot representing IS alpha, IS beta, IR alpha, IR beta and uh, you have the omega M. These three equations are plugged in uh, using the B sources. And uh, uh, then afterwards, I am converting the alpha beta to UVW outputs and these are the uh, currents, voltages which are actually representing the three phase currents. And also I have one more output coming as representing the uh, speed. Uh, so this, uh, this is what is there in the model of the uh, induction machine. I have separate sub circuits for UVW to AB that is three phase ABC to alpha beta, alpha beta to ABC or AB to UVW, alpha beta to DQ, AB to DQ, 
dq to alpha beta or dq to ab so this is what a polar to rectangle uh, and uh, for v by f lookup table this is the model of a lookup table the remaining pid all these things we have seen so this is what is there in the subcircuit file and uh, i will close that go back to this one. so this is the model uh, of the induction machine this is the source i am giving an arbitrary piecewise linear source if you come to this portion of the circuit here the control portion uh, it is not in co closed loop but i am setting it up such that even for closed loop with minor modification you should be able to do i will tell you how to do that later but first for the open loop simulation so here this is the reference for uh, omega m where it is going from minus 100 and then after a period of 20 seconds it goes to plus 100 and then remains at uh, plus 100 so it goes from minus 100 to plus 100 and then remains at 100 so that is the reference um, uh, shaft speed that we are trying to give and it is in radians per second now this goes through this block this is a summer block and to that is added zero subtracted zero so it goes through as omega mechanical this is a pid controller but if you see within the pid controller uh, ki is zero kp is one and kd is zero which means it is again a pass through so this is just a pass through element now right now and at a you will get a value same as omega mechanical and then here again i have an adder where the other input is zero so this again is a pass through so what you get here is the same value v of uh, omega mech uh, which is um, uh, which is uh, available here as a node voltage the same thing is going to appear here at the input of this lookup table now if that is considered as omega uh, uh, synchronous uh, speed then uh, we using the lookup table which we saw in the edt0 uh, one as the uh, uh, sub circuit you will get as output the voltage which is proportional to omega so this is where the v by f lookup table comes into the picture so you have vs and also omega coming in here and this is a vector vs vector and omega is the frequency at which it is rotating or omega t is the angle so this polar coordinate system is converted to a rectangular coordinate system again this is a sub circuit x polar to rectangle we saw that polar to rectangle sub circuit is available in the uh, edt01 dot sub and uh, 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 this block converts polar to rectangle alpha beta so alpha beta or ab is used as input to this block where you have AB to UVW or alpha beta to ABC and converts it into three phase quantity. And this three phase voltage quantity is given to the induction motor as the uh, input. And based on that, the currents and the torques are developed and the uh, motor will uh, run uh, and uh, be speed controlled based on the V by F action. So this aspect we will simulate. This is open loop V by F. If you want to do closed loop V by F, now this is where these two points you need to add, do something. So what is it that you have to do? You have to give instead of zero here, grounding here, you give N omega M, you give the omega M as feedback. Give omega M as feedback at this point. So that will be the feedback. There will be an error and PID give both ki and kp appropriately tune it such that pid will do the controller job and error here will go to zero which means the feedback omega will uh, be same as this reference and the reference will now represent the mechanical speed and the output of the pid at node a you will get the slip frequency to that you add here again omega m here you have to add omega m so added you will get here the synchronous frequency 
and then uh, all other operation is same as in the open loop. So this portion here can be used for converting it into a closed loop operation. Only change that you need to do is to both these grounded points give n omega m. Give this omega m as the uh, node point here. So this will uh, see to it that it will go into a closed loop control, V by F control. And also simultaneously, you need to tune the PID accordingly such that the error at the input of the PID is zero. Then you will get V by F closed loop control action. I will leave this V by F closed loop control operation of the induction motor as an exercise to you. Try it, understand it, try it and then see how it operates. I will now go through the open loop operation of V by F control. So let us now open a uh, well, let us now go and open the uh, command window. The same time, I also would like to have a look at the circuit file. So, if you go and look at the circuit file, you will see that it is very similar to what we have been doing. It is for 60 seconds. It uses the V by F netlist, which will get generated. And uh, as usual, the background is white, the foreground is black, and we are seeing the reference omega, omega m, uh, the uh, i, uh, this omega m is the actual shaft speed coming out of the model of the induction motor. This is one phase current, u phase current, and the torque, load torque, which is scaled. So let us uh, run the simulation. I will execute the simulation. So first what will be done is, I will give run sim v underscore by underscore f. So this will generate a net list and then run the simulation, execute the simulation for 60 seconds time and this is the waveforms that you see. So you see that this red waveform minus 100 to plus 100 is the reference waveform continues to stay and the blue is the um, uh, actual uh, speed waveform of the induction motor coming out of the induction motor model for the specific kind of torque uh, uh, to uh, low torque input. So you see that the uh, reference, uh, the uh, reference red is here, and uh, the following, the blue waveform is following the reference waveform and reaching steady state here. And at this point, you are having a uh, torque disturbance, having a torque pulse of uh, 100 Nm meters scaled, um, uh, and you will see that the speed is falling down. And then when the torque uh, pulse is released, goes back, you will see that uh, the speed is again trying to go back to the steady state value. And here in yellow, you are seeing that there is, there is the U phase current. Let me zoom this up and you will see that this is the U phase current and as the speed is crossing zero, you will see that U phase current which is changing phase uh, and crossing over to 180 degrees phase. So this is in the negative uh, zone when the speed is negative and here you have the phase change and it goes to uh, 180 degrees change in phase and this is the positive omega positive. Uh, so phase sequence of the three phase waveforms will change for from negative to positive. In order to see the three phase currents, you can plot uh, the currents which are being outputted by the induction motor model, the v, uh, U phase, V phase and the W phase currents. So if you plot that, you will see that all the three phase currents are being seen here. So you see that this portion here, this is where, this is where you will see the um, uh, speed, the shaft speed transiting from uh, uh, minus to plus 
and you will see that the three phase waveforms will change sequence uh, 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 change the sequence rotating from clockwise to anti clockwise in this zone so after it has crossed and become positive so this is uh, what would happen If I expand this, you will see that, see that before the phase change, the sequence, sequence is red, yellow, blue. The sequence is red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. And then after speed has gone positive, it is red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow. So, so on it will go. So, that is how the sequence change comes into the picture and changes the direction of rotation of the space vector from clockwise to anti-clockwise. And here you can probably expand it at this point and probably see the nature of the three-phase waveform. So I will leave it to you to explore the various uh, currents and voltages of this uh, V by F control. And also I will recommend that you try to do the closed loop uh, going to the schematic at this point give omega m at this point give the omega m feedback and both these points and tune pid and try to execute the closed loop p by f control